Haney dominates Progre. Haney becomes two-division champ with dominant win. In his first fight at 140 pounds, former undisputed lightweight King Devin Haney took a pound-for-pound -pound sized step forward into stardom. The 25-year-old Haney 31-0, 15 KOs, who fights out of Las Vegas, returned to his birthplace of San Francisco on Saturday to capture a second world title in as many divisions with a brilliant shutout of WBC junior welterweight champion Regis Progre inside a sold-out Chase Center. All three judges scored at 120 to 107 for Haney, who dropped Progre 29 to 2, 24 KOs in round three and was simply sublime throughout. The bout was the main event of a DAZN pay-per-view card and marked Haney's return to Eddie Hearn's matchroom sport following a three-fight run with ESPN and co-promoters Top Rank and Debella Entertainment, which saw Haney reach pound-for-pound -pound acclaim through lightweight conquests of former unified title holders George Cambosos Jr. twice and Vasily Lomachenko. Yet, it was Haney's performance in his 140-pound debut that may have been virtuoso enough on this night to defeat anyone else on the planet. At 140, we have a new king, Haney said. This means everything. Since I was a young kid, my dream was to come back to the Bay Area and put on a big event. What better time than now with 16,000 people coming out to support me? Haney was so dominant that he limited the 34-year-old progray to a CompuBox record of just 36 punches landed over 12 rounds, which broke Shakur Stevenson's new record set just last month when he held Edwin De Los Santos to 40 total connects in capturing the WBC lightweight title, which Haney chose to vacate. In fact, Haney's 129 landed punches were nearly four times that of his opponent. Thanks to a patient attack and masterful control of distance, the counterpunching Haney landed 35% of his punches overall, including an absurd 46.5% of his power shots. That motherfucker is good, Progray said. He is better than I thought, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to give trainer, Bill, Haney, and his team credit. Look, we still keep the same energy but I am going to tell the truth. Devin Haney is better than I thought, I'm not going to lie. He is. His feet are faster and he's quicker than I thought he was. I couldn't seem to get to him, he was quick. Not only was Haney too quick for Progre, his pinpoint accuracy helped the power in his right hand become an instant factor. Haney made Progre pay enough early on for coming forward that his output decreased over the second half. I did everything that I said I was going to do, Haney said. I went in there and handicapped him. I went the opposite way and took his jab away. We knew he would try to come in with a tremendous jab but I followed the hell of a game plan my dad came up with and we did what we said we were going to do. A beautiful counter right hand from Haney floored Progre in round 3. Similar crosses badly hurt Progre and forced him to do a dance in order to regain his balance in both rounds 6 and 9. His power did surprise me, Progre said. I thought he was a soft puncher. He does have power. He's not the one punch kind but he is quick. I was down and I was like, what the fuck happened to me? He's quick and it's the shots that you don't see coming that are the most dangerous. Haney said the five-pound difference in moving up to junior welterweight likely increased his power after not being forced to cut down in weight so aggressively. It made a tremendous difference and you can see that in my performance, Haney said. I feel so much stronger and in this camp, I was able to recover and relax more. I felt great. On the knockdown, I hit him with a sharp right hand. I knew that he had habits of leaning in and we capitalized on that. After the fight, Haney teased a possible move directly up to welterweight. But even Hearn seemed to focus more on the gluttony of young stars currently operating within the 140-pound division. We know how good Devin Haney is, Hearn said. Could he transport that to 140? The answer is yes. He looked quicker and stronger. This is a special, special talent. I think this is a guy who can go to 147 and I struggle to see who can beat him. You are going to have big power and fast hands. He hardly broke a sweat tonight. That was an absolute clinic of a performance. But Ryan Garcia is a huge fight for us, Gervonta Davis is a huge fight. Teofimo Lopez is a huge fight. And I think he beats them all. Here are the rest of the fight card results. Mio Yoshida defeats Ivani Bridges via unanimous decision, 99-91, 99-91, 97-93 IBF bantamweight title. Andy Cruz defeats Giovanni Straffen via third round TKO. Liam Paro defeats Montana Love via sixth round TKO. And in the main event Devin Haney defeats Regis Progre via unanimous decision, 120 to 107, 120 to 107, 120 to 107.